Hello everybody, in this video I will cover the most important upgrades for the Trunk CX-1 3D printer to make it a very good printer. Let's start with the biggest problem, the wobbling of the X and the Y axis. In the original state, the wheels on these axes had a huge amount of play, hindering bigger parts to be printed properly. The solution is actually very easy. On a print pad holder, there are just some brackets applied, holding the screws in place and thus removing the huge play. A similar step is taken on the X axis where the brackets are put in between the x-axis holder and the extruder motor holder. Through these actions, all wobbling is literally gone, opening a path for good prints. The next upgrade adds a 40mm part cooling fan to the printer. Thanks to the interchangeability between the x-axis of the Trunk CX-1 and the Trunk CX-3 3D printer, nearly all upgrades from the X-3's x-axis also work on the X-1. The fan shroud, originally designed for the Trunk CX-3, allows the mount of a 40mm fan on the left side of the extruder. At the first try, the fan shroud was lower than the nozzle, eliminating the ability to print at all. After widening the holes on the metal hot end shroud, a sufficient height is reached. To keep the airflow away from the nozzle itself, I added some pillars in between, which have a 12 degree angle on one side. Now the airflow is redirected and the outcoming material is cooled sufficiently. The parts cooling fan is connected to the fan output of the Melsi board, where it works without any modification of the software. Because of the newly mounted fan, the X end stop isn't switched properly anymore. In this case, another print, originally designed for the Trunk CX3, comes handy. There was another thing that annoyed me on the X1 since I have it, namely the loose belts. After a short research, I found the working design for the X belt again designed for the X3, that actually fulfills all my prerequisites. It has a knob, allowing you to conveniently tension and untension the belt. Then it also requires only one 25 or 30 mm long M5 screw and one M5 nut. And it works with the original belt, so you don't need any new one, if you weren't so stupid like me and cut the one and a half inches that were too long when assembling. The tensioner on the Y axis is pretty much the same as the one on the X axis, with the only difference being the main holder. After all of these upgrades, I wanted to do some prints. The first one was the pre-sliced model, only to see whether some sea wobbling secretly added itself to the party. It did, but only slightly. After adjusting the sea nut, I managed to reduce it, but more adjustment is necessary for a complete elimination. Admiring the print quality, I'm pretty happy with my second print, the cute octopus. It came out pretty nice although I think I shouldn't have printed it in black on a second thought. The third print after the upgrades is the cute dragon with the pre-attached supports, scaled to 150%. I'm pretty happy with the quality as well. To summarize, the print quality definitely improved through these upgrades, making the Trunk CX-1 an even better printer for the low price. I really recommend it, it's very good as a second printer. And if you want to have it as a first, look around, maybe somebody can help you out with printing the first parts. Thank you guys for watching.